Uh, there you go. Um, yeah, a couple of announcements. Um, obviously, um, a couple of guys with, with size. Uh, a couple of guys we're really, really excited about. Um, ben Humerkaus is a guy who is, uh, uh, we have worked really, really hard uh, through this process. Uh, very excited about his package, what he, what he, uh, what he brings to us. Uh, extremely versatile. I think he's one of the elite shooters in the country. Um, I think that uh, uh, the versatility, I think he can do everything from play the five to be able to do some of the things that uh, we did with Marcus uh, this year uh, in, in post-ups. I think that uh, uh, he got incredible range. Um, I think the uh, one thing that, that always translates, no matter what level you're at, is shooting. And uh, uh, he does that at, a, at a, an extremely high level. I think he's one of the outstanding shooters, will be one of the outstanding shooters that, that I've coached. Uh, maybe the best one I've seen uh, in my time here. So, um, a, a terrific young man, a terrific student, cerebral, high IQ, um, and, and again, uh, fit what we were setting out to accomplish uh, in the portal, which is positional size and guys who can shoot it, especially along the, um, the front court uh, spots. So uh, really, really, really excited about the addition of, of him and the, the versatility and uh, I think has a chance to be just an uh, outstanding, outstanding player for us. So. Um, and then uh, Tomislav uh, Avisic, um, very excited about, um, I'm very excited I pronounced his name right. So, um, but a young man that, um, you know, in, in, in watching film, um, he, again, he fits 7'1", um, 240, 250 pounds. Uh, he is a, um, uh, a very, very skilled player, uh, can really step out and shoot it, uh, an elite passer, a guy that uh, gives us um, the ability to protect the rim on the defensive side, uh, can really handle the basketball uh, as well at his size. He's left-handed, uh, and then he has um, uh, a tremendous amount of experience. Um, you know, playing on the world stage, playing in the Adriatic League, um, and, and has played against high-level guys. He's been extremely well coached. So, uh, again, a guy that uh, uh, opens the floor, uh, can pull defenders away from the front of the rim. Um, he's, uh, uh, I, I'm just excited because I think he's going to be a, a, a very, very, very talented and gifted offensive player uh, who's got great range, can really shoot it, and, and uh, excited to add him to our, uh, uh, to our lineup. Among all the front court players you're bringing in, what kind of versatility does this give you schematically? A lot. You know, I think the one thing that, that, that Ben does, I think the one thing that, that, that Kerry gives us, um, you know, those two are elite shooters. Um, you know, and they're both different. Um, you know, I, I'm, um, Ben is, is a guy that, again, has deep, deep range. Uh, he shoots a well beyond uh, the NBA arc. Um, he's he's going to be a high clip guy. Uh, but yet I think he's a guy that can play booty ball. Uh, I, think, I think that, uh, again, when you can open the paint, uh, when you can create matchups, I think you, you're talking about a front court that you'd see three of them on the court um, together. Um, and uh, again, uh, uh, I like the I like the versatility of that. You know, it's a kind of a, a Minnesota Timberwolves type lineup with 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 spacing, and and they each give us a little bit something differently on the defensive side. Uh, you know, carries an elite. Shot blocker Ben is a guy that you know is a pos positional guy that can guard multiple positions because he's got great feet. You know Tomislav's a guy that's that's proven 
uh, rim protector, rebounder, um, you know, and, and it gives us something different as well at, at 7-1 with his length. So, um, you know, it's you got Merez, you've got Jason, uh, those guys are young. Um, so I, I, I love the versatility up front uh, of our front court. Your process and, and you personally getting comfortable with him and acclimated and kind of how you fell for his game. Yeah, it was speed dating. Um, it was a it was a uh, trip abroad. Uh, it was a lot of film. Um, you know, it was um, you know a, a really hard dive. Obviously, um, uh, Orlando's connection with his twin brother. Um, you know, it was a uh, connection with the people uh, that know him, um, obviously factored into that. But uh, uh, it was obvious um, from, a, from a, the, the basketball perspective what a great fit he was because it was what, what we were looking for, uh, you know, in the portal and one additional piece, but a guy who could stretch it and uh, a guy who can. Uh, give us a little physicality, a little more rim presence on the defensive side as well. So, um, yeah, O's, O's factor was in it. There's a lot of film out there. Right? They played uh, USC last year in the exhibition. He had a great game against them. And, you know, you start seeing comparative, you know, games and so on and so forth, and you, you see his ability. So, um, you know, again, a, a, a guy that not many people know about, in the states, but worldwide, he's he's a guy that's uh, uh, that's made a pretty big, pretty good name for himself. Brad Coleman gave you advantages to stretch five uh, to have that again. What led you to want to prioritize that, or just that that philosophy? Well, we were number one in the country going into the UConn game offensively. Um, I think it's 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 uh, um, you know it wasn't just Coleman; it was what we did with Marcus, what we did with. Uh, we were able to do with Quincy, um, you know, stretching the floor. Uh, you had Kylan, uh, you know, at 6'2", 6'3", 225 pounds, big, strong, physical guard. You, you go get Ben, um, you know, and it's, you see his skill set and what, what he can do. You go get Trey, you know, 6'7", um, and, and I love just creating those matchups. And, and for us, it was simplicity on the offensive side, but it was all about a matchup and creating those matchups. And I think that when you have front court players who can space, uh, I love what Kerry can do. And, um, you know, we, we've set out to be very diligent in recruiting guys who can make baskets and, and who can really shoot the basketball and, and uh, uh, open that paint up. So we've, we'll, we'll try to keep finding that versatility. Svanimir wasn't clear till January last year at Kentucky. Do you have any sense of really how the process is going to work for Thomas Love? Differently. I mean, that's all I can add. I mean, there were different reasons for his. Um, you know, through every university has different different stuff. But uh, uh, outstanding student, and uh, so I, I think there'll be some you know different without diving into academic world of somebody. When Ben was in the portal a year ago. Uh, were you familiar with him? How, how, how hot is it in that no. NIA kid? Or, I mean, no. Uh, great job by um, Evansville for, for finding him. And I, I think those guys are out there. I think that that's, that's one of the, you know, we saw one from Moorhead State uh, and he kicked our tail. And uh, uh, so it makes it a little easier to, especially when they're a little older. Uh, but. Uh, <clears throat> You know, it caught everybody's attention this year. I think Evansville got off to a 6-0, 7-0 start. And and, and, uh, and then you saw their his impact on their team when he got hurt and, um, uh, and when he came back. But, uh, um, yeah, that's the beauty, I guess, of our new world is you, you see guys that maybe you wouldn't before and, um, and know about them. But, um, but, boy, did we love what we saw. Heard you talk about positional size a lot for a couple of years. How has that kind of taken precedence or factor into roster building, just in terms of what you guys? Are Number one factor, along with personality, and you know we give our guys personality tests. We want to make sure you know, through this. I use the word speed dating. It's probably you're probably tired of hearing me say that, but through this process, 
And, um, you know, this year's portal is different than last year's portal. Uh, we're not going to have the multiple stages. We have the one deadline. Uh, we're not going to have the grad transfers. There's very few guys going to come out of the NBA deal and, and you know, have that impact that, that we saw last year. This thing has, has changed, so we had to, you had to move earlier. Uh, it'll be different next year when you lose the COVID year. So it's an every year changing philosophical difference. And, you know, we're going to dive back into 25s hard uh, with recruits, uh, with high school kids. And, and uh, you, you know, so I, I just think there's changes coming all the time. I think knowing how we want to build it, what we want to do philosophically has helped us a lot. Our staff um, has done an incredible job in terms of, hey, these are the guys we want. These are knowing we want positional size, knowing we want shooters, knowing we want the court open. I don't know if that means we're going to win games or not, but it, we, at least we know what we're comfortable with and we're, we're, we're able to go out and, and, and um, uh, recruit those guys. Ten yeah. scholarship players, are there some skill sets or positions that you still like to add to the roster? Not much. I mean, we may add one more. Um, I think you can have too many. Um, I think it's an absolute disaster to have too many. Um, I think there, there's there's challenges that, that, that come with that. I think availability is a really good thing um, to have, uh, whether it be late, whether it be semester. Um, but uh, uh, you know, we would we would potentially look at, at, at one more. Uh, but beyond that, I, I don't I don't foresee anything any more than that. Well, I mean, something freakish just happens. Even with you know, Orlando's connections and maybe watching on the film on Thomas Ellis, how important was that trip to maybe go see him? And what did you learn in that part of the process to make this the fifth? Well, connections are and 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 relationships are, you know, the the most vital piece of that. And and those were relationships I had, not me. And and so I'm the head coach and need to make some of those. Uh, connections with 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 his people and and, and uh, along the way you uh, hope to build something that lasts a lot longer than this year as well and um, you know the the recruiting game is still uh, in the game of basketball is still about relationships it's still about people and connectivity and uh, um, you know oh obviously had some uh, some connectivity but uh, very important for me to be able to do do some of those same things. Perhaps of an asset was it to sell Marcus to Ben to have his success, then go back in the portal, guy from the same league, skilled forward. Like, yeah, I, I mean, was there any better player in the portal that? I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe you want to throw Cam in there at UConn, and um, I mean, there's one or two, but. Uh, um, the job that none of you guys talked about, Marcus, last year, the national people, they didn't even know who he was. So, you know, that's why, you know, all this ranking crap and all this stuff, sorry, uh, mean zero. But uh, to be able to have Marcus and to be able to see that success and to see his efficiency, numbers rise through the roof as he takes a jump up, huge piece of, of, of recruiting material that we, we, we took great value in. And, uh, you know, to see a player like Terrence Shannon go from nine or 10 points a game in his prior stop to 22 or 23, another big advantage. You know, Quincy had a great year. So our success in the portal has been well documented and we sure use that. But I think it's also um, the style of play that's a lot of that and putting those guys and trusting those guys and being honest with the guys in the portal, what we expect of them. And, and I think that's, that's been a piece of the success as well. When do you anticipate bringing all the guys to campus and what's kind of the first step in molding this into a team? Yeah, as quickly as possible. Uh, you know, you've got to, uh, some guys will, will be in here for the May semester. Uh, you know, others, will, it'll be June. Um, you know, um, obviously, uh, you know, the, the international admissions piece is, is a little longer and drawn out. And um, so we'll, we'll see. We hope, um, you know, that that process happens quickly for uh, for Tomislav. But, um, yeah, as, as soon as we can, 
uh, we hope to have the, the group here. Brad, where are you defensively on this team, just as you formulate it, and what has that philosophy kind of been like? Well, I, I, I think we're in it. I think we had some deficiencies last year. Um, we, we lose an elite defender yeah. um, in, in Terrence. Um, you know, I think Kylan's elite. Um, I think he's special. Uh, I'm so fired up about Draven. Um, I, you saw my comfort with him as a freshman growing and growing at the end of the season. Uh, elite defender. Um, I think that uh, Ty Rogers um, has, has that ability uh, to be an elite defender. Uh, I think our rim protection will be better. Um, Kerry is elite. Elite. And I think as, as we emphasize that, I think it uh, has very, very promising um, future on that end. Um, again, I think Tomislav helps protect the rim. I think that, you know, positional size, shooting jump shots um, impacts the team's, team's abilities to, to make them. So, um, you know, uh, Trey is a guy that's, that's been known uh, as, a, as a guy who can really defend. So I, I think we're in a, in a really, really good place there. Um, that's the area where chemistry has to happen the most. And um, you know, be an emphasis, be a point of emphasis for sure. Last year, you were five power forwards. It, it looks more conventional with the Boswell, the big down low. Is it, is it going to be much different in that regard? Is it more conventional? No. It's just a guy who's a big guard who can post, and he's 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 comfortable because he's played it. I think we're still the same. I think I think we tried to be that. I think you've got. Um, you know, don't be shocked if you see other guys with, you know, playing in, in matchups. We're going we're gonna to try to keep creating matchups and matchup differences. And that means uh, Kylan's a 40 plus percent three point shooter. That may mean spacing him some. That may mean Ben on the ball. That may mean Trey on the ball. It may, I, who knows? It may mean Carrie on the ball. I, I, don't, I don't know. We've obviously got Ty, um, you know, Draven, those guys as returners. So I, I still think it's 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 about the positional size, it's about the matchup, and we're going to continue to, to hunt those things every chance we get.